yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Trucker B. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Hey, I appreciate everybody for the support. Uh, Y'all continue to run the channel. Last video, I want to thank everybody who, who sent condolences to my mom. You know, that was a sweet lady. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep this thing moving. I know that's what she'll want me to do. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm currently just getting back on the road. Uh, I did my home time this following weekend for my anniversary, but the loads they were offering were pretty garbage. Um, you offer me a load that picks up on Tuesday of this week, which I had been since since Saturday. They wanted me to pick up a load for Tuesday of this week, and it didn't drop to next Tuesday, paying three dollars some cent a mile, one load for the entire week. I turned it down so quick, man. Is you crazy? Like what? Like, nah, that ain't even making no sense. So I got a load that picked up and delivered that was paying to get me away from home going one of Pennsylvania for like, ready $1,700. On top of that, I had a problem. I woke up right before the day I was supposed to deliver the load, woke up to my trailer saying that it wouldn't start. So I jumped it off. So I instantly called and asked how much they was paying me. I know that's, that's anywhere from $25 to $50, depending on what they want to give you so i got to call them today and see what the pay was going to be because night shift said he didn't know what he, they want they would normally give me but you know i got to get all mine like and i'm just looking at the way prime going man with these low like really if you're on the lease side right now man you're working to pay a truck note and to have some some money in your pocket for food on the lease side right now like it's it's the struggle real out here in this truck industry like not every week, but it's been weeks where it, you just working to pay a truck note. Like, the freight has been that bad, and it, it's like you're getting 10 times worse. And I think the industry getting worse, and um, just all the way around, like, it just it just bad in trucking right now. And, like, Prime, you know, Prime going to the cameras eventually. I don't know when they're going to implement it for everybody, but if you're under their, their fleet, whether you're a lease, whether you have your own truck, in order to run under authority, you must get the camera. You must have it whenever they implement it for every truck they have. It. So, you know. So, yeah, you may be paying your truck. No, yeah, you buying your truck from Prime. Even though Prime don't even own the trucks. You still. I mean, you still got to get that camera. That's crazy. But, hey, hey. It's just part of life, man. You got to go with the flow. So, hey, we're going to see how they're going to turn out, man. Um, It's been a lot of drivers quitting Prime. It's been drivers still coming to Prime, but it's been a lot of drivers still quitting Prime. So, you know, it's rough out there. Um, but the freight has been horrible. Um, right now, the only way you can make it is have a good dispatcher that knows, like, okay, hey, I made this guy five, six, seven thousand last week. I'm going to have to slow him down, drop him down about four this week so I can let this other guy around that's close to where he at make him some money this week you gotta have a dispatch who cares and not just care about making himself money and making like the number one goal of a company is to make the company money so we, we can't forget that so we can't think that they just gonna delay freight to try to get this driver his pay up they they, they got to, they got they trying to make the company money at the end of the day so we got to know that and we got to understand that and you know um we, we got to know what comes with trucking like a lot of the time we thinking they oh we leasing all right, like they got them they got to make the company money you leasing but you got to make the company money at the end of the day is you like you second you second or third like you're gonna have the company you're gonna have sales and dispatch and then you're gonna have the driver the driver he last so don't ever think that it's old the company then the driver now nah, i ain't working like that buddy it ain't even working like that um other than that Ain't too much change um besides my um dispatcher keep calling me about do I wanna be volunteering? No, I don't wanna volunteer. Do I have a problem with the camera? I have a problem, but me having a problem I ain't gonna stop you from going to the camera, so I don't really speak on my problem with the camera. So I just wait till y'all implement it and I'll get it in. I know yeah, eventually y'all gonna implement it for everybody and I just have no choice but to get it in. But other than that, I'm not trying to have, like, I'm not trying to volunteer, be like, ooh, ooh, me, ooh, me. I want the camera in my truck. 
Nah, I won't. I know it's going. It's coming. I just wait till it's mandatory before I get it. On uh, the day I drove 583 miles, I'm like 140 some miles from delivering this load. Um, I'm back out here, man. I'm back to making video. I'm back to bring y'all raw and uncut. You know, it's a lot of drivers. You know, now that they not making money, now they want to tell you the ifs, uh, you know, the ins and out of prime. I've been telling y'all for the longest, like, you know, I seen it sliding down here. You know, even though our prime still a good company, I'm not gonna knock them. Like the freight bad on everybody, so you can run for prime. But guess what? If prime ain't got the freight, you think these smaller companies got it? You know, now I ain't gonna lie. Swift, Swift has a lot of freight. They don't have enough drivers. That's why. Swift was able to turn down the freight for the cheap parade because they didn't have enough drivers anyway. So drivers at Swift are banking like you training at Swift as a company driver. You training, you making it worth from twenty eight to thirty two hundred a week, and that's training like they banking at Swift. Like this ain't no, this no cap. They banking at Swift, no cap. And if I had or if I could, I want to call and see can I get out of my lease early. I want to go to a day cab and just pull and be home every day. I want to go to me a day cab ASAP with Prime. I see the day cab, they moving. Like, day cabs are really eating out here. Like, like the day cabs, like, the inner motor for Prime, the day cabs, it's not that many day cabs that run it. So, they really eating out here. Like, you, y'all have never heard nobody put an inner motor for Prime complain about they, they pay. Because Prime don't have that many people on the inner motor account. Plus, the people who lease and do it. They don't have no right, no no reason to complain because Prime really don't let outside drivers pull their freight. So that means there's enough freight on the intermodal side for the trucks to get. I gotta think about it. All the intermodal trailer for Prime, you never see a Wilson carrying one. You never see a, a regular Prime truck really carrying one. You only see the day cows put them. So really, I'm trying to get in with that and really see how that works. You know. I'm currently investing, trying to invest in me a dump truck. That's right, I'm trying to go to dump truck. Like, I don't have time to be to my freight. I know they building roads every day. I don't care how the economy is, they're going to do something to the road. So I'm trying to get in the dump truck industry. I'm trying to purchase me a dump truck. And if you're smart, you know, you'll be waiting, looking for other ways to make money. Whether I stay with Prime and let somebody run the dump truck, I don't know yet. But, hey, I'm trying to find me a way out, man. I'm a uh, uh, second income. Because one income right now in today's economy ain't enough. You got to think about it, guys. 80000 has become the new $50,000 mark. $100,000 has become the new seventy dollars to $80,000 mark. So, you know, when you're making a hundred, let's just say you brought home a hundred. Like, you really are, you, you're really middle class, and really, it's lower class and upper class. They almost can cut the middle class out. So, we got to be smart out here in this trucking industry. I don't know if y'all paying attention or not. But man, a hundred dollar like twenty dollar right now. When you when you a hundred dollars, you go to the store. Like you count the items on your hand, you finna get for that hundred dollars. Like it's it's crazy out here. Hundred dollars, you probably go to the store and get everything you need for one meal for a family. So you know you gotta be caught. Y'all gotta move smart out here. You gotta spend your money. Like if you still saving points on the on the lugs and pile up, you crazy. Yeah, man, you gotta be smart out here, man. You gotta move smart. You gotta have patience. You can't. And react off instinct like you got to react off what you see and not what you heard like a lot of these drivers just talking they ain't here complaining like but they complaining to you about something but they low-key using what they complain about to make money like i don't listen to none of these people on youtube they're telling me you know don't do that don't do that don't unless it's our own operator trying to tell me how to get an own operator bid when it comes to the lease side man only, only thing I see with Prime, it was a lot of drivers used to making six, seven thousand dollars. Now they making four to five thousand dollars. Ain't enough money because they got their bill based on when they were making six, seven thousand dollars. So you know, can't live above your your means. That, that's why I say, like when you making money, you got to put up. Cause just to show, if you gonna have them sunny days, best believe them rainy days coming. I always remember you gonna have a rainy day. Ain't no way you gonna have sun. 365 days of the week. You're going to have cloudy and rainy days. So remember that. Put some money up. Stack. Pray. Go to church. Um, but yeah, man. I'm back at you. Ain't too much going on, man. I'm back out here. 
I, I, I done named my trope the Hope. Since it's green, I said I'm gonna name my trope the Hope. So me and the Hope back out here. Um, ain't too much change, man. Um, really, I got two lights on on my dashboard from my sensors. And I'm scared to try to go get my sensors fit because I'm scared they might try to throw the camera off in my truck from me getting my sensors fit. And I got my sensors on my front that tell me my following distance is not working. So, you know, and it kind of can't tell me. It ain't telling me how fast the truck's in front of me going. So I really need to get that fixed. So I'm going to try to pull up at a terminal whenever I get close to one and try to get that handle or whatever. But other than that, I'm having a blessed day, man. We're finna get ready to go out here and do a walk around around the hope. And let y'all see how the hope looking. And uh yeah, man, let's get to it. <laughs> so yeah, man, we outside at the hope, man. Y'all see how she looking, man. She's still pretty clean since that last wash I got her before I went on home time. But yeah, man. Um my reefer messed up, so I'm having to run it on continuous. So y'all see what that fuel doing. Like by in the morning, I should be on like probably like a half a tank by in the morning so it'd be a lot of guys in my comment like hey bro your lock on you ain't got no lock bro i keep a lock on my trailer when i got a load bro i keep a lock on my trailer and this ain't even the proper way the proper way to, to use the lock it's supposed to be behind this you're supposed to put it in and some type of way it's supposed to this is supposed to hide it i i didn't even know that until recently it's just supposed to be just enough for the key to go in there so yeah, I'm gonna go on YouTube and see how to use that. But right now, this is how I'm using it. I have no intentions of changing it for the night. Yeah, man, and the Hope, me and the Hope, we back out here, man. We still trucking. That's all we can do. Keep trucking, baby. But yeah, man, this your boy Trucker B coming to y'all with another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on your post notification so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Until next time, y'all keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Deuce. Yeah, man, we outside at the Hope, man. Y'all see how she looking, man. She's still pretty clean since that last wash I got her before I went on home time. But yeah, man, um, my reefer messed up, so I'm having to run it on continuous. So y'all see what that fuel doing. Like by in the morning, I should be on like, probably like a half a tank by in the morning. So it'd be a lot of guys in my comment like, hey, bro, your lock on, you ain't got no lock. Bro, I keep a lock on my trailer when I got a load, bro. I keep a lock on my trailer. And this ain't even the proper way. The proper way to, to use the lock, it's supposed to be behind this. You're supposed to put it in, and some type of way, it's supposed to, this is supposed to hide it. I, I didn't even know that until recently. It's just supposed to be just enough for the key to go in there. So, yeah, I'm going to go on YouTube and see how to use that. But right now, this is how I'm using it. I have no intentions of changing it for the night. Yeah, man, and the Hope, me and the Hope, we back out here, man. We still trucking. That's all we can do. Keep trucking, baby. But yeah, man, this your boy Trucker B coming to y'all with another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on your post notification so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Until next time, y'all keep it real, I'm going to keep it real. Deuces!